Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of uh, Perceptions of the Dead. We're here with another story, uh, the Phantom Ice Cream Truck. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. Follow a... a de what the heck? Follow a... What the heck is that word? Whatever. Anyway, a border between life and death as he answers a call to rescue a missing child. Okay. So, I don't think it'll be that bad. But, you know... Whatever. Let's play. This music needs to go. A glance around reveals an empty street, and I take a moment of solitude to adjust my layers. It does little to save off the fighting again. Hold on. Yeah, stop. Return. I clench and unclench my fingers with a deep rooted iron. Cool. I am not being paid well enough for this shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. Then again, I never am. What? This was the second night since I had started this assignment. The couple had hired me to bring back their son. So the son's missing. They hadn't been so comfortable with the way the official investigation was turning up so very little, and how much the media had begun to spin the tale into a ghost story. Eh. The Phantom Ice Cream Truck. Dude, ice cream sounds good right now. What a mouthful. A messy case, too. Why? The police's initial involvement had been straightforward. Hmm. The first child had fell off the map like the earth had swallowed and buried. Right off the street, according to witnesses. No one saw a thing. No reliable witness heard anything either. No unfamiliar cars or people. No unfamiliar sounds. There's got to be something. He can't. He couldn't just have fallen off the, off the earth. It's not possible. One moment he was in front of his parents' home, the next he was gone. There has got to be some other explanation for this. Strange, but there could be plenty of explanations for such an incident. Very mundane ones. Please explain. Such explanations became more unlikely when every child in the neighborhood reported hearing ice cream truck music right around the time of the disappearance. I knew those ice cream trucks were super creepy. Of course, without a single adult able to corroborate this mysterious music, the children's testimony was quickly dismissed. Wow. Still creepy, right? Not really. And oh so mysterious. Why are you talking like that? Even more so when it happened again. Hmm? I'm confused. third time. I'm confused. What? Return. It was the third parents who hired me. Hmm. I never really figured out how my clients find me. It's not like I list my number in the advertisements. Okay. But somehow word of mouth leads to my phone ring. And a familiar phrase to indicate it's for business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fatan. I seek a pact with that which should not be. That sounds like a. That's, that doesn't sound very good. I know, it's a little trippy. It's from a book I had read back in college. A book? What kind of book has that? A friend came up with the joke as his invocation of my aid. He must have used it dozens of times when he was younger. Typically for a ride when he had been out drinking. Yeah. I had become so used to it that when I first answered the phone and heard an unfamiliar voice say the phrase, I just kind of went with it. Why? The next time it was the same. Mm. And then it became common. Mm. Where are you? We live in Rosterfield, Maine. I know it's a long way from where I heard about you, but can you help us? God, what? Will you pay the price? We will pay anything if you can bring back our son. Okay. The deal is struck. And with that, I called in sick to work. Told them I had the flu and would need a few days off. So you do work. I was giving shit about not getting my flu shot, but they didn't have to be too much. That evening, I was on a plane. You had to get on a plane to go to where they were? I arrived at the house of I, I did not knock. Oops. After all, it was important to keep up appearances. The window to the left was latched, but the right slid up loosely. Mm -hmm. I found the boys' room first and gave it a once-over. Legos, Ben 10 toys, and Star Wars kind of familiar. Looted at the floors and walls. A quick once-over revealed nothing useful, though. Uh-oh. Don't like it to get copyright strike on when I, put it, when I put it on YouTube. I sat on the foot of the bed for almost ten minutes before one of them stirred. You went into their room? 
Oh my god! Jesus. <laughs> Normal reaction. I turn around slowly. Jesus, the music. I return for what has been lost. From you, I need two items. I need a photo and an article of clothing. Something thick with the smell. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of... Okay, it's kind of suspicious. The woman stands there slowly, edging against the wall, then runs to the child's room. She returns with a dirty soccer jersey and a copy of a lost flyer. The father remains paralyzed, his eyes locked with mine. Though likely, he is just staring into the shadow beneath my hood, hoping to see something there, something human. Likely questioning his decision to hire him. I would have. Some random person just breaks into my house and then just asks for an article of clothing and a picture of the person I want found. I would also try to question. I would also question why I would hire someone like that. Can you really find him? I take a long smell of the shirt, then discard it. I take a look at the photo. This time, I spend a lot longer. So he smelled the soccer jersey. It's not creepy at all. Is this, this is the kid. Okay. Alright. Doesn't look too bad. Is this, are his eyes black? Or is that brown? I wasn't really some bloodhound. I couldn't track my sin. So why'd you ask? The photo helped a lot. Now I knew what he looked like. Yes. She begins to breathe heavily, and then cries. I, I'm not a fan of this. I... The husband just continues to stare at Vast into the hood of my coat. With that, I begin to walk out. Behind me, I hear the father speak. Oh, great. Oh, did we just send after our son? I would, I would assume some sort of demon. The first night had been under I turned over the results of the police investigation and found myself wanting. Wanting what? Oh, anything is in the Yeah. Did these people get paid to do this shit? I certainly didn't buy the superstitious who were already spreading stories about the ghost the ice cream truck. If a ghost were going to come back, it's very unlikely they would be scooting around in an ice cream truck. That's that's just great. Talking to children has been painfully hard. <laughs> My one fortune was that my attire left me more reminiscent of a slender man than a child molester. So the times I was chased away from children I tried to interview were not mistaken for solicitation. Okay, whatever. I shuddered violently at the thought. The children provided my first real clue. Really? They described a clue. One that sounded like the type and consistency that an ice cream truck might have. I never liked those ice cream trucks. Common these days. Never did. I was a little surprised these kids even knew what one was. They're not. Uh, they're still around. Uh, they occasionally come around. I, I never liked the ice cream trucks, though. Never did. Found them creepy. Some were even able to hum and whistle to Timmy to me. Okay. I wasn't entirely sure how to run with this info. The relevance of a single song really didn't occur to me. Mm. A small piece of the rest of the day was spent eating myself and taking a nap as inconspicuously as possible. Great detective work. Awesome. I had no intention of allowing anyone to see me be anything other than the creepy supernatural paranormal investigator. Wow. That's how I've always done things. You are literally the worst. You'd be surprised how quickly you can build a rep with the right look and behavior. I, I, you know... I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have not known. After the nap, it was back to beating the streets, and my turn for the night. It was friggin' cold. Wow. From the near distance, I watched a quartet of kids, roughly fourteen or so, playing a ragged game of football. Dude, football, awesome. Is it the soccer or is it American football? They seem to be having a great time, but even as far away as I am, their cheers and jeers rattle my nerves. Why? For a moment, I wish they would be quiet. Uh, are they annoying you? As though hearing my thoughts mid-run, they stop on cue. They stand up straight and begin to draw heavy, ragged breaths. Oh, no. A girl hugs the football to her chest as her eyes go ever wider. Ah, uh, that... Oh, uh, the, the music just changed. I don't like this. I test reality for a moment. Please... Go on. I wish I had a few thousand bitcoins. 
<laughs> Bitcoins do sound good, though. It occurs to me that I should have asked for something more easily checked. At the same time, it occurs to me that I didn't silence those kids. I bite my tongue, close my eyes, and bury the nail of my thumb into the palm of my hand. Why would you do that? I dig in as hard as I can, drawing blood as my vision Why? colors behind my eyelids. And then I hear it. A song playing on a pair of shitty speakers. The kind you'd hear on top of an old tiny ice cream truck. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like this. My eyes flick open as I scan the horizon. The truck passes me, inches from clipping my shoulder. What the heck? Please. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. Oh, no, you fucking don't. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> he just repeated it four times. I break into a run. And despite the trivial speed of the truck... What is the me. truck doing? Is the texture breaking or something? As the truck closes on the kids, it slows to a stop, and I finally begin to close the gap. Oh, great. Far on home, you kids. It's getting dark. This town is insane after that. Mmm, so there's a man in the truck. Getting dark? What is it talking about? The sun set hours ago. Oh, my. No sooner had the words crossed my mind than it all went black. Oh, that's just great. For a few moments, I thought I had been knocked unconscious. Mm. Then my eyes began to adjust. I make out the faintest impression of light. Oh, great. I don't like where this is going. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. You kids better get in. I'll get you home safe. Don't go in the truck. I watch helplessly moving through the dark like these glasses. Shadows pass before the light as he ushers them into the truck. Don't do it! The truck lights glare into brilliance, and I hear the motor roar as the car begins to move forward at a pace more in keeping with the motor vehicle. I would lose it even if I was still able to move. No! No! Wow. I let out a choked cry after me. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Then I stopped. The second cry had no depth to its volume. While the no had echoed normally down the empty street, the scream of stop had sounded like I'd screamed into the middle of a very crowded room. Slowly I reached behind me, laying hands on one of my pieces of emergency equipment. The kind of stuff you don't use when you want people to think you're some manner of help or work. Oh my god. I slowly bring it around, just as I feel the breath on my neck. What are you... What? With a whip, <sighs> oh my god. Seeing it burn red hot through my eyes, <laughs> and I hear the coughing of screams. I open it. That was very loud. That, that whip <laughs> was very loud. It like it scared me legitimately. Thousands of what is this? Ow! That hurts. The darkness washes away. I don't want to look at this. I wheel okay. around oh, in place what? and find myself alone back in the street. It's daytime. In the middle of the day. What happened? I dropped the flare and tried futilely to snuff it out with my cape. My little display is drawn in audience, and not so far down the street, I see my clients. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm confused. So it's ghosts. I merely nod slowly. But you can still get him back? Oh my god. They look... No, they don't look too... Deaf. Not not, not, not not gonna say anything. It's been over a week since you started searching. He hasn't eaten anything. I still couldn't wrap my mind around how much time had passed in the darkness. He will be fine. Time does not pass normal where he is. I think that's a complete and utter lie. Do you know where he is? I nod. I'm going there tonight to get him back. They start crying. I'm not really sure what oh my. At this point, so I stand there, awkwardly, hoping that my layers give me more of the appearance of stoicism than an awkward finger. Oh my god. Apparently it works. Thank you. Thank you. He literally did almost nothing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I leave the building as they both chant, thank you. Like it was some kind of prayer. 
That's it's never not the good. First time I've heard that term. It's not the first time I've done this. I don't know what this guy is on. I'm but... ready this time. It's night falls. I withdraw a small shot and, without hesitation, jam it into my arm. <laughs> you did? Okay. But, like it's just some sort of casual thing you do. No worries. Viper I had a friend back home who kept one as a pet. Milks the things. Sells the venom. Mostly to medical facilities. Occasionally he sells it to me. You put Viper Venom in your veins. Can't that kill you? My knees nearly buckle as the burning begins to creep through my arm. Wow. I stifle a scream. Then I hear it, and everything clicks. Oh, not this again. I let out a long sigh and stand up, adjusting my layers. Whatever. I turn my eyes to fall upon the approaching truck. That truck is literally bugging me. My hand goes behind my back and my fingers close. Uh oh. I train the gun on the truck and unload a triad of shots into the ghost truck's engine. You shot at the engine. You know, not worrying about, you know, police or anything of the sort. The engine sputters, the grating burns, melting away, and the music screams in protest. Oh, I don't like that. What? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm saving kids from you, keep your old man. And escaping from an Andy Warhol painting stutters, stepping awkwardly from the vehicle. It's getting dark, but I have to protect the children. Mmm. Only one thing may not exist. You and that which you fear must cease to be. Oh, that's great. But the children... The darkness falls upon me. With such force, I stagger. Huh. I lose my grip and the gun disappears, searing into the shifting mass of flesh. Oh, that's great. My hand goes behind my back, and my grip closes around a rough hewn blade, forged of obsidian and steel. Great. So you have a knife. And as I carve outwards, I hear the screams of all the lost children, unwilling to accept their fate, <laughs> and swallowed by the darkness. That is very loud, and it's hurting my ears. Flesh tatters as I carve, burning away like paper. Until finally, I lay into the man. I don't know what I just... No, you don't understand. I was just trying to help... I bury the blade into his throat. I did not do that. The cacophony resounds as the children who lost themselves in the darkness ride, and I go about my work of freeing them all, just as I freed this man. Okay. I don't know what I just... Oh, my baby. It's The kid's alive? No, not everyone. They're all dead. Everyone. Everyone died. You know, I don't think that crossing your arms and looking like you don't really care is not the greatest pose to have. Seven kids lost here. And I got back all of them. I wonder how many I actually freed. How many had he trapped in his life? And what the hell was he so afraid of in that part? And most importantly, why did he open the to it? I don't know. I don't know how to thank you. After a week of not hearing from you, I had feared for the worst. A month after that, I had come to accept that it was over. I was ready to move on. His eyes fall to his wife, still babying the boy, who won't stop staring off into the distance. She had faith, though. She said that you were an angel, or maybe a demon. She didn't care. She believed in you. Some nights after she had said her Hail Marys, I would see her put her hands together, and I would hear her. She was praying. She prayed to you. To him! I was almost flattered. But to tell the truth, the idea of someone believing so much in me, and praying to me, it was terrifying. I don't know if that's a good thing. I want you to know, I'm willing to pay more than whatever your normal fee is. We've been living with a tight belt since I called you. I won't lie and say I don't do well for myself. I have more than enough saved up to pay you anything we could ask. Mm. Or if there's something else you want, there's nothing I can offer you that means more to me than my son. Okay. I let out a long sigh. I reach up to my hood and pull it back. Both of them gasp, stepping back, and then cocking eyebrows in unison, having perhaps expected something more. What? Please. After having been gone oh. for two months, I could really use a job. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay. 
I didn't really get to see his face. Okay. So he has purple eyes. That's it? Hmm. All right. So that's it. <laughs> um, if you've enjoyed, uh, please leave a like and whatever. I probably put this up on YouTube first. Then put it on Facebook. Hopefully. But anyway, if you've liked, I'm going to do the final one because there's one more after this. And then I don't know how this, I don't know if they have more on the way or if it's DLC or whatever. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Later.